Hey everybody, my name is Sean V. Bradley. I'm the president of Dealer Synergy. I've been in the automotive industry for about 23 years and I love our industry. And I am just so perplexed how we as Americans allow these parasite companies like Carvana to prey on the American public and simultaneously bash and slam and slander car dealers. Carvana with their little gimmick vending machines for years has said, hey, you can't trust dealers, come to us. But yet their CEO, Ernest Garcia II is a convicted federal felon on bank fraud charges. And I was just blown away that a week ago, Carvana laid off 2,500 employees. Tempe-based Carvana laying off 12% of its workforce today. Thousands of employees found out that they lost their jobs during a Zoom meeting this morning. The company announcing it is laying off 2,500 employees. That amounts to about 12% of its workforce. On the same day, Carvana purchased a car auction company for $2.2 billion. And many employees we spoke with say they're extremely upset with the way Carvana executives handled today's layoffs. He cut so short without such notice, it was very disappointing. Employees won't even be allowed to go back into the building to get their personal items. Does this sound like a company that's reputable? Does this sound like a company that cares about the American public? I don't think so. But please, for the love of God, understand who you're doing business with. Do you know that the, that the state of Illinois has banned Carvana? The Illinois Secretary of State saying it has now suspended the license of online auto deal after the company failed to properly transfer titles on vehicles it sold. We're talking about Carvana. The state of Illinois has now revoked Carvana's license to sell cars there because of delays in processing vehicle titles and registrations. And in Pennsylvania, they just filed a class action lawsuit. The online car dealer Carvana now facing a lawsuit in federal court. A Philadelphia consumer lawyer has filed two class action lawsuits, and he tells me there could potentially be hundreds, possibly even thousands of plaintiffs. The dealer is finally in hot water with regulators in multiple states. You know who suffers? The American public suffers. So I implore you Americans, please listen to me. Dealers are reputable people. I know that way back in the day, there were some shady car people, but guess what? Those times have changed with the advent of the internet, with online reputation, with Google reviews, Yelp reviews, dealer rated reviews, the internet, it makes dealerships transparent. Folks, I'm gonna tell you this right now. There are more police in the headlines. There are more priests in the headlines than there are car dealerships. See, what, what Carvana and parasites like car gurus and these companies don't tell you is they don't have cars. They don't have ties to the community, but automotive dealerships are local multi-million dollar businesses with ties to the community. I'll give an example. RK Chevrolet in Vineland, New Jersey. They are number one out of 3,000 Chevy dealerships for making strides for breast cancer. They've raised over a half a million dollars. You've got so many incredible dealerships and dealer groups and what they do is they invest in the community and I'm gonna tell you this right now I got in trouble when I was 18 years old and thank God for the automotive industry that it gave me an opportunity to rebuild my life and it really bothers me when there's companies or people that are attacking the industry that has blessed me and blessed my family tremendously so all I'm saying to you right now is shame on you Carvana and shame on you and all these parasitic companies out there that lie and mislead the public for a profit. So I just urge you, if you want to buy a car, don't waste your time and money on Carvana. Look to your local dealer. And if you're not sure of which dealer to go to, please contact me for free at a courtesy. I will find you the absolute best dealership in your community that will help you purchase a vehicle. Again, my name is Sean Bradley. I look forward to being able to help you in your next automotive purchase needs.